what are the primary ventilator modes? And again, these are the operational modes of the machine. Now the two primary modes are assist control or AC or SIMV which stands for synchronous intermittent mandatory ventilation. First we will talk about assist control. In this mode a minimum number of preset mandatory breaths are delivered by the ventilator but the patient can also trigger assisted breaths. The patient makes an effort to breathe and the ventilator assists in delivering the breath. With that said, just know that the breaths are not spontaneous in this mode. The breaths can be patient triggered, but they are still delivered by the ventilator. That is where it gets its name, assist control. Because the mandatory breaths are preset, which means they are controlled, but the patient can trigger additional breaths, which these are the assisted breaths. And when using this mode, the sensitivity setting or the sensitivity control can be adjusted to make it easier or harder for the patient to initiate a breath. Assist control is most often indicated when mechanical ventilation is first initiated for a patient because this mode provides full ventilatory support. That is also one of the advantages of using assist control because it keeps the patient's work of breathing requirement very low. But one of the major complications of assist control is hyperventilation, which this results in respiratory alkalosis. This is the result of too many breaths being given to the patient, whether they are patient triggered or machine triggered. And the second primary mode is SIMV, or synchronous intermittent mandatory ventilation. Now in this mode, the ventilator delivers a preset minimum number of mandatory breaths. However, it also allows the patient to initiate spontaneous breaths in between the mandatory breaths. This mode allows the operator, which is either the respiratory therapist or the doctor, to set either a controlled pressure or a controlled volume. The primary indication for SIMV is when the patient needs partial ventilatory support because since the patient can take spontaneous breaths, that means that they can contribute to some of their minute ventilation. SIMV is a mode that is used for weaning as well. Some of the key advantages of using SIMV include, since in this mode the patient can take spontaneous breaths, this helps to maintain their respiratory muscle strength and avoid muscular atrophy. Another advantage is that in general, in SIMV, it distributes the tidal volumes evenly throughout the lung fields, which this can reduce VQ mismatching. And last but not least, SIMV helps to decrease the patient's mean airway pressure. As a respiratory therapist or student, SIMV and assist control are the two primary ventilator modes that you should be the most familiar with. However, it's also important to develop an understanding of some of the secondary modes and the spontaneous modes as well. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel. Also, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other resources that I think you will enjoy. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to drop a like on this video and you might as well go ahead and click the subscribe button while you're down there. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.